we're done. Play that one pretty good. That was good, Seth. Like, we got to the bridge. I fucked up, dude. I killed a guy curve, and... But if we ever Wait, get when? kills, like, you know, and you stayed alive on the bridge, like, anyone gets there, dude, just hold that till we can all get to it. You know what I mean? You talking about Fire Hill? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, if you get kills there, I wouldn't even push to the back until we're all over there. Otherwise, like, someone might just come behind you and cut it off, you know what I mean, and just look at us and let you go. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I think, honestly, like, there's things that we can fix and, like, we can get better at, but for the most part, like, they were just hard to kill. I'm gonna be the one to say it. There were times they would just, I'd be pre-aiming them, they would just slide. I was literally skipping and turned on this guy. I have no idea how. Nuke man, Sandy's a bitch. Come back for five months in a row, buddy. My reaction is buns. Uh, just another kid coming to try to roast me. Yeah, dude. Thanks. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty tired. I don't know what to tell you. And I tried calling a lot more stuff that map. I think it helped. Did everyone play their GB match today? <laughs> what you think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's oh, a trick question. Together. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if you were serious or... Or what? I honestly totally forgot. <laughs> I wish this game had theater. Same. I would love to watch some theater right now. I'm trying to figure out. I really would. Like, what is hat like? But, dude, the difference, dude, I made some calls that map. Throwback, Seth made some calls, and, dude, the call he made literally made zero sense. It's all about just people doing, like, I, I literally, like, like throwback, dude, like I said. If, if we kill them all in the back, like, two people cannot run to green. If they run to green, we lose that hill. Because we let them go blue immediately. You know what I mean? Like, how do we break yeah. barn? We go blue. If we kill them all and we have, and we don't get, like, give that guy a chance to fucking run out of barn and shoot at them silos, like, we, we lose that hill. Or we're going to be trading, no matter what. Yeah. Blue Hill, that was just fucking dumb. Like, honestly, me pushing out there, I don't even know if that was, like, right <laughs> in that situation. But two of us definitely was wrong. Mm -hmm. But, like, dude, yeah. everybody just, like, when we're playing, like, so every, we just had to, everybody has to keep saying shit, dude. Yeah, like, man, like, like if, I don't, I don't know well, like I'm saying, like, like spawns, like, mid-fucking scrim, like, like, that Grave Hill, if I didn't call out everybody to wait and go main door and well, would we have done it? We probably wouldn't have. We probably just went on bridge, and Methods and Mosh probably would have just killed us. Like, yeah. literally at any time, dude, somebody just say something, because this game is so damn fast, if we, like, get lost in it, and we're, and we're just sprinting, we're just gonna die over and over. Or, yeah. Like, it's just not gonna be good. I agree. Same with, like, fucking Breakout, dude. Like, if, if we, like, say spawn up or, or I mean, first off, I don't know what y'all are doing going to that second hill. Everybody just needs to back up or something and give them mid-map. Because the last two times we played it, second hill or what? I've, in Breakout, I've sat in the hill and everybody's died. So I, don't, I don't know what's going on mid or med, but 
Off that, dude. Literally, fuck challenging the guy. Everybody just run backwards. Yeah. I almost think that we should let them get, like, our top base control and just camp yeah, back. Yeah, I mean, if they get it, who cares? They have to worry about so many different things. Dude, we should we should do what we did. Uh, Remember, uh, what was it? Scorch? When literally all four of us sat in the new hill? Like, we need to do that a lot more. Yeah, I mean, so I we, know, that's that, a little crazy, if, but I mean, like... Well, I mean, just... think of it. So if one guy sits in the... Or one guy watches mid, like... Like, we could literally have one guy sit in in the back like ramp or not the ramp the center block head glitch on breakout for the second hill maybe like one guy hill watching wall run and then like another guy green truck and then one guy hanger like either way like everyone's close to each other and everyone's trading a kill no matter what so if they if they split push they're fucked yeah and like, yeah, that's kind of what i'm saying that. like yeah, like i mean Dude, that's literally what I've There's seen. No... I've seen rise and phase. That's all they do. They just hug each other, dude. Okay. Okay. First of all, I don't give a fuck what those kids do. I'm saying if I'm on center block, which I'm there probably more than anybody on our team, there is no guaranteed kill if they're pushing mid and they get to that other box dirt and they slide the hill. That is such a hard kill. You don't understand. Dude, that's why there's a guy green truck. And if he dies, then what happens? Then I just then my point then, then you comes right back the, into what I'm you saying. Then you warn the hill guy. But that, I mean, either way, what do you want? What do you want to send to it? I mean, the only other setup would be sending two and hill. Yeah, I think two and hill would be great. Well, then either way, that's that's the difference of like ten feet and a wall. That's I'm just saying, like, there's no point to go top window. There's no point to be like, way, way, way the fuck back hanger. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not I saying. Think... I'm not saying a specific setup. I'm just saying we got to stay be close together so we can trade no matter what. I think in every hard point, there is a certain spot you can go on every single hill that you can push out far as fuck. Like, on every single map. And you can push out yeah. so far that when you're killing them, they're spawning literally in the back of fucking nowhere over and over again. They don't flip if you have a guy back in the back. But you can have, like, two guys literally push so fucking far, it doesn't even matter. And I feel like, it's like, if we did that more, dude, we would win so many more hard points. We always just sit... And wait for them to push us, and then we lose a gunfight. I would rather us lose the gunfight mid-map and then spawn right next to me and do it again. Do you see what I'm saying? No, I agree. Push out as far as possible. Well, no one does it. Like, I well, see, I like, have, I'm saying I from my point of view, dude, half whenever time. I'm in the fucking hill, dude, I don't see people pushed out to where they could be. I literally never see it. But all these, like, we literally get pushed out by fucking Randy Bob Jr. Like, these guys, Aggie's team, were making us spawn out. So fucking far, dude. Like, but it's yeah, just perfect like, example. Of, like, like nobody ever saying. does it, dude. I I don't understand. Like, like when we played retaliation the other day, you guys like pushed out well, pushed out mid hall, and I'm literally I was almost near their bus on that fucking hill, dude. But, like I I feel like when I'm in hill, I'm just sitting there and I'm just waiting for everybody to collapse and for all of them to just come pound me in the hill, like every time. Yep. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. I push out. Like, I've just... never seen anybody on our team push out wall run on second hill, hide in that gay-ass barrel spot that fucking Haggy oh, and one of these kids does. Break out. Like, once we kill them, dude, we just, like, we're not running to the right spots, I feel. Like, well, like when we get a kill, they should not be able to get back to that hill for another 30 seconds if we're doing it right. And then no, the only I, other thing, I, like... I, I agree. The only other thing, like retaliation right there, we gave them well spawn, but that's because one guy is in the hill and we got two people fucking plat, or two guys in hill, two people plat at 30 seconds or whatever. Like, I don't know if y'all remember, but when, at the event, we literally beat somebody because Seth spawned behind them. Like, at like that time, somebody has to already be running back. And literally yeah. half these kills, dude, it just comes like... I feel like we're rotating to the wrong spot. I feel like we're not rotating far back enough. Just like that, that last hill on throwback. Like, like go back. Go in the deepest, gayest corner and wait for mm -hmm. your teammate to help you. Like, get a crossfire. Yeah. Like, yeah. like we literally could, like, like fucking grave, dude. Somebody can, I don't know, sit well. Somebody can sit hill, jump and look at the street. Somebody can sit the tank. Fourth guy literally could camp all the way in the back behind those fences and watch main door. And if you see anybody, just tell the well guy to, like, come over. Like, as simple as that, like, I just feel like we're, we're like, not far back enough on these rotations. But, like, we got to be yeah, careful, no, I, too, because... Yeah, no, I agree. I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I completely agree with everything said. Basically, 
I think that on rotation, we can't just, like, branch out, like, super fucking far. But then after we get, like, say, we, and then we get, like, not, like, close to each other, but a position where everyone can trade a kill. Because usually they're going to go three one way, you know? Yeah. Or, like, two one way. And, like, if you don't get that first kill, even if you do get that first kill and you don't get a two-piece, like, that's a successful push. Not a successful push, but it's still, like, it's good. You know what I mean? It just it just helps the other team. So what, what I'm saying is, no matter what, we got to be in positions to trade on rotation, and then after we get the kills, we have to push up. I 100% agree with that. Like, like exactly what fucking what a perfect example was was when we got fucking 40 points versus them, and they're pushing Bridge Heglich, they're pushing like well steps, and you know what I mean? Like, and the guy on the hill isn't being useless. Like he's jumping up and down, shooting Bridge with his teammate. It's like uh, the only other thing, like. Like, dude, that, the stupidest thing that happened today was when Matt died to the guy on Scorch <laughs> on that fucking drill hard point. I was with Matt, and my first reaction was kill the guy while running, and Seth was with me. Like, if Seth just watched that door, dude, that we would have never lost that hill. Like, everybody just has to look at the right spots. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It shouldn't even have to be explained. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like exactly. That, like, that play, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I tried to kill the guy after, but I was weak and had seven bullets. And Seth tried looking at the guy wall running. Like, I mean, Dude, I, like, what, I, what do I say? I, I, I don't know. The thing that pisses me off when we're playing hardpoint is, like, half the time, if, like, if someone's dying, say they're in the hard point and they get shot from somewhere, it's it's always like a surprise to them that there's a guy there. It's it's never like they just know that there should be a guy there, there should be a guy here, and there should be a guy here. It doesn't matter like when they come, but it's like it's never just like oh yeah he came out, but it's like dude one came out, but what the fuck? Like there's this, I don't know how I don't know what to say whenever that happens. I'm just like oh well I mean yeah I mean yeah I I was when the guys coming there, but it's just like half the time okay especially. Especially when we, um, say, okay, we always spawn out because whenever we rotate, we all die, and then there's, like, one guy left in the hill, and then us three spawn out, and we're just, like, go, yeah, the other, we're telling our teammate to go kill all four of them, basically. Instead of getting in the hill, bro, if you're the last one, just literally go hide in the back, go lay down, don't even shoot your gun. Just go sit back there. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the best case scenario that we've gotten so far is a trade kill. Like, you, you get one, then you die, and then you spawn behind us while we're pushing up to where you were. Yeah. It's like... Just go in the back and lay down in a fucking corner in a bush. I don't care. Just wait till we get there. You know, it's like we always try to do some hero play and like kill three of them. And it's like it, it never works. But if we just stay alive and wait, then they'll spawn out when we get kills. Then you can just stand up and shoot one in the back. Yeah. Just like we, we're too aggressive and we don't need to be and we're never patient when we need to be. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, I it, agree it, with that. And I don't know how to like I just don't know what to say half the time because I don't know how to say that like. It's like a in-game sense to know when to be aggressive and when to be passive. But it's yeah. like half the time it doesn't feel like we just know that. And then it's like it, our setup just fall apart because of that. Because one person plays aggressive or one place in, person plays too passive. And then our whole setup falls apart because we never get the first kill. I don't know why.